you're not really happy. You haven't been really happy for a very long time. You've been in a relationship or dealing with this man where there's been drama, there's been nonsense, there's been a lack of fulfillment. Things are just not what they need to be one way or another. He may be a good guy, he may be a bad guy. Either way, he's not the right guy. And I'm going to explain to you why you need to let him go. My name is Stefan Labossier, a.k.a. Stefan Speaks, back with another relationship and dating advice video for women. Again, today we're going to be talking about why you need to let him go. Be sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video, share this video, and click that notification button. And also leave your comments below. Give me your feedback. So listen, as a coach, I speak to so many women. I see so many women in bad, unhealthy, toxic relationships. And I want to make something really clear from the jump. Bad, unhealthy, and toxic doesn't always mean these traumatic situations, these overly abusive, though that will be on the list that we're going to be talking about. But it even means that, yes, the good guy who you're just not really in love with, that your heart's not there with, that there's a lack of fulfillment and connection existing in that relationship. You are still in the wrong place. And so I want you to understand whether you are just struggling with a man who isn't doing right by you or you're with a man who does right but something seems wrong. You need to watch this entire video because I'm going to lay out for you why you need to let him go. So let's just get to it. Number one, and this is in no particular order, you make him a better man, but he doesn't make you a better woman. Now, I don't know why, but I feel like that hit a lot of y'all in the gut because I see so many women in relationships and validating staying in a relationship with a man because of what you do for him, how you essentially level him up, how you have made him into a man in some situations. And, and that sounds all great. That sounds wonderful. But the reality is that you're not getting what you need. He doesn't make you a better woman. He doesn't truly uplift you. He hasn't shown you a better way. He hasn't helped you evolve into a greater version of yourself. And the reality is that a relationship that is happy and fulfilled and has connection is two people who are able to pour into each other and elevate each other. Two people who are able to bring the best out of each other. So when it's a one-sided affair, something is horribly wrong. But it's not just horribly wrong because of you're pouring so much into him without getting in return. It's horribly wrong because in time, you are going to become drained by this dynamic. In time, what you may discover is that you have set yourself up for a narcissist because you have set the stage where you will give, 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 and he will start to just take, 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 take. And he may not even be equipped to give what you need because he was never equipped because you got with this guy for the wrong reasons. Now, I'm going to leave that for a different video, all right? But you got to be real with yourselves. So many of you have intentionally dated down. So many of you have intentionally taken on the project thinking this would keep you more safe emotionally, thinking this would be a more beneficial dynamic for you, but in reality, it is still a problem. You are not happy. You are not getting what you need. And again, I repeat, you make him a better man, but he does not make you a better woman. And the jury can be out on if you're even truly making him a better man because he's not even learning how to stand on his own two damn feet. You're carrying him on your back. And listen, let me make something very clear. I, I, I'm not against building together. I'm not against working together. But let me get this analogy I love to use. It's one thing to have two people building together where you have the man and the woman carrying the brick together to put it on top of the other brick to build their house. But what many of you are engaged in is you're the one carrying the brick and this joker is in a lawn chair with lemonade in his hand watching you do the work, telling you you missed the spot, <laughs> all right? Like, he, he is directing you as you continue to pour into the situation, but he does not match your energy. He does not match your effort. And again, that's a problem. You need to let him go 
because he's not truly best for you. And honestly, you're not even truly best for him. And I know that's a hard pill to swallow, but I, I need you to see this from both sides because the quicker that you can embrace that, the quicker you can have the strength to walk away from a relationship you don't belong in. And again, I repeat, some situations aren't where the man has been abusive and wrong, and or and when I say wrong, as in he's doing blatantly negative things to hurt you, but he is not the man you need him to be for you to have long-term success in this relationship. You will only be able to go so long do, carrying the burden of this relationship on your back. And again, all you're doing is conditioning him to believing that you will do it all and he doesn't have to do anything at all. Hey, thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here and I'll see you there. He won't let you go, but that doesn't mean he loves you. Or it could mean he loves you. Could be a lot of different reasons why this man refuses to either leave you or leave you alone. Why maybe you've tried to push him 